Okay, um, this is uh, the latest updated version of the video from LAN. Um, f f sorry, the Wi Fi options. I'm going to look at a series of connections. Um, we've been looking at how we could improve the quality of the videos, and one of the most important aspects from most people's viewpoints would be sound. So, hopefully, you can hear us better this time. We have the locked uh, Netgear signal coming here, and you can see a lock signal there and signal there. Now, these are SSIDs SSID here, 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 and here. We have the MAC addresses, each are transmitting here. We have speed of transmission. We also have the channels that these are actually transmitting on. On the router video, I talk about the keys and encryption. This is the WEP encryption, and this will mean that in each instance here, we have an encrypted signal. So, in other words, you actually need to have the key to access these or have the resources to access these to determine WEP key connected to them. SSIDs uh, can have all sorts of names behind them. Now, in this particular instance, we have uh, a selection of signals, and as you can see here, the signal is low. As you can see on, on other signals, we have higher signals, strong signals. We have a series of different uh, strengths of signals, and we also have different um, strengths of signals with each of these particular setups. Now, this is a relatively new one um, to me, and um, I've not particularly come across this one. Uh, recently, so I'm looking at this to see how strong it is, and uh, I can see it's locked, whereas I can see others that might not be locked. In fact, this particular one has no uh, signal locking at all, um, it's transmitting, but there is no key connected to it, there's no lock connected to it by all accounts. So from that viewpoint, I would suspect that that is possibly, if I'm near enough to that signal, I can get directly onto someone's internet connection, which is a bit frightening in a way. Um, however, that is it's one that is actually, or appears to be on that signal, actually clear. But as I look further up, I notice that the same address is transmitting with a lock signal through um, that particular connection there. Now you'll often find that these signals will actually be completely unlocked. Um, in this particular instance, as you can see, these signals are actually, or um, the majority of cases, actually locked. You never know quite what you're going to see with these. Uh, you can see, uh, as I say, a variety of vendors uh, and other de bits of detail that are actually available. Um, so you, you get quite a lot of information there. You can also in some cases see the IP address subnet and the uh, latitude and longitude of the signal. Again, that's quite a lot of information to actually look through for, for some people. But this is the sort of signals that are actually generated by routers and Wi-Fi transmissions coming off routers and fr from other uh, resources that are actually sending signals out. So hopefully you'll find that of some interest and of some use.